Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It has been so long, so much longer than I intended. I said I wasn't gonna ghost YouTube after Vlogmas. I ended up ghosting YouTube after Vlogmas and I am sorry, but instead of getting into all the reasons for why I haven't been on YouTube, I figured I would just pick up the camera and we would start vlogging again. It's now mid-March, which is absolutely insane. I truly cannot believe how fast this year has gone by. I feel like it's because the beginning of the year I spent on a cut. It was from January 2nd to March 10th, right before I left for Cabo. And I just feel like when I'm cutting all the days run together because I'm so focused on food and cardio and training. I also had a ton of stuff happening with the gym. So that took up most of my time, if I'm being honest. I ran a very successful challenge for eight weeks in the beginning of the year. We're on our second one of the year. I said I wasn't gonna get into reasons for why I wasn't vlogging and I'm doing it. But anyways, I'm back and I'm gonna try to be as consistent as I possibly can. A big problem that I have is being a perfectionist and needing to have like a plan, my video ma like mapped out. I want it to all be cohesive and perfect. And sometimes that throws me off from just like setting up the camera and taking you guys along with my day. So anyways, we're just gonna start vlogging again and that's really all I got. It is currently about 10 o'clock. I've been doing a bunch of computer work this morning. I need another coffee. So we're gonna go downstairs, make a coffee. And then I have a very special package to open. So we're gonna open that together. Let's go do it. Okay, the coffee's gonna wait a second because this is the very special package. I cannot believe you guys, the amount of support that I've received since starting this YouTube channel is actually insane. It's only been about a year of making videos. I've taken two fairly long breaks and you guys still show up to support me. So it's just unreal. And uh, I'm very, very grateful for each and every one of you guys, whether it's watching a video, subscribing to the channel, leaving a comment, watching a short, whatever it may be. Thank you guys for supporting me and thank you guys for just being there for anything that I decide to do. I don't know. I just feel like no matter what I do, you guys support me and it means means so much. So here is to a year of being consistent on YouTube. Let's open her up. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Aw, this letter is so cool. I'm like getting a little bit emotional. I'm so grateful for you guys. This is actually crazy. It's going right in my office. Yo. How does it look? I've legit had this sitting over in that corner waiting to open for a couple weeks because I told myself I didn't deserve to open it until I was actively making a comeback on YouTube. And now we are here. Thank you guys again for your support. When we go upstairs, we're gonna find a good place in my office to put this. And now let's make a coffee. I'll talk more about this as the video goes on and in other videos to come, but my goal right now as far as nutrition and fitness and all of the things is just finding a balance. I, like I said, I did a cut from January 2nd to March 10th. It was about 10 or 11 weeks collectively. I did a couple diet breaks while I was traveling in between that, but it was pretty structured cut. Especially the last month, I was doing a lot of cardio. I was in a big deficit. I dropped 20 pounds overall, so very successful because my bulk was not successful, and we'll talk about that too. But now that I'm back from Cabo and I'm not technically cutting anymore, my brain and like the way that I function in previous years, I tend to go like all or nothing, and I'm like, fuck, like I can do whatever I want. I can drink, I can eat. I don't have to like lift hard. I don't know why I have that mentality, but I do. And so this year I've been very aware of trying to get back into like some sort of structure and just a balanced routine. Now that I'm home, trying to maintain the results from the cut as much as I can. Obviously I'm not gonna stay that lean because I'm not in that much of a deficit or doing that much cardio, but I think I can maintain a level of leanness while still going out for social events, having a good summer and enjoying myself. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys. I'm not tracking anymore. I do measure my coffee so I make sure the ratios are right and it tastes good. But yeah, the goal for food specifically is trying to cook as many meals as I can at home, not ordering food or going out to eat just because it's convenient. It's saving going out for like social occasions, date nights, and something that's actually a reason and not just because I'm lazy. So that's something that I'm gonna do for nutrition. I'm still gonna try to do some cardio. Still gonna be focusing on training hard, tracking my lips, and getting stronger week over week. I'm literally rambling at this point. The goal right now is enjoying my life, feeling balanced and trying to maintain a level of leanness. So, without tracking. Anyways, coffee. This like doesn't have to be perfect. I just feel like I never eyeball things right. I'm using this oat milk. I've tried a lot of oat milks. This is my favorite for coffee. And then this is Starbucks caramel sauce syrup. 
And this is vanilla bean simple syrup. I can put these containers in the description. And I think the syrups I got on Amazon too, actually. So I can link it all. All right. this was gonna happen we ran out of coffee beans and brands at the store right now to grab more and I don't have enough to make this coffee so I have to wait till he gets back Sad day. I'm too impatient to wait for him to get back and I also remembered that there's a way to do it with ground coffee I've just never done it before so this might ruin my coffee which should make me really sad but we'll try it uh, let's see you can even get this bag open all right let's see if we can figure this out nice Great start. All right, I just don't know if I'm supposed to measure it, but I don't really know how much it needs. So we'll try this. Ah, I did it. Maybe. Yay. All right. I do a packet of trivia. I need ice. Smells good. I just buried the spoon. Fuck. Very good, yay. All righty, let's go back up to the office, find a place for that plaque, and then I have to finish a good bit of work. Okay, super fast view of my office because it's messy and I need to clean it. It's one of the projects that I need to do this week after traveling, but I think I'm gonna put it in the middle of this desk and uh, see how I like it. Yeah, I like that. It's fucking sick. Solid. All right, that was a nice little distraction, but I have so much work to do this week. After traveling last week, I really tried not to work while I was gone, which was nice, but I could like feel the overwhelm hitting on the plane as I was heading back here. So I got a lot done yesterday, but I still have probably two or three hours today before we head to the gym. I also need to eat in a couple hours. I already had breakfast this morning, but we'll need another meal before the gym. So I'm just gonna post up, do some computer work, and uh, we'll connect shortly. good stopping point and I'm really hungry so we're gonna go downstairs and make a little meal I'm gonna do probably eggs and toast with cheese this is one of my favorite meals while I was cutting and I was craving it in Cabo so we're back on the bullshit probably do some watermelon juice with it you guys <laughs> so pretty courtesy of the best man's ever he knows I always need to have fresh flowers and I got a couple from my office yesterday, but we have our main base empty. So we're gonna figure these out too after I eat, cause I need some people. All right, let's make some eggs. Fun fact, this is actually a meal that I ate as a child. My dad would make it for me. It's one of my favorites. Some people call it eggs in a basket. Can't remember the other names for it. That's what we called it, but um, just take two pieces of bread or however many you want. I do the sweet Hawaiian bread from Pepperidge Farm. The macros are pretty good on it and it tastes really good. And then grab a plate and a glass. I have a specific glass for this because you need one that's like the right size. And then you just cut out the middle. Yeah. 
need that. Almost broke that. And then... Brian always knows I'm in the kitchen because I turn on the overhead light and I usually forget to turn it off. I already know this is gonna be controversial, but you don't really care. Spray butter just to uh, cook the bread so it gets like crispy and not just burnt. I just spray both sides. And then these little, little things that I take out from the center, I also cook those and I just put cinnamon sugar on them. So you basically just put these in the skillet and then we're gonna crack an egg inside and then add some cheese, super easy. Final product. Well, I put some in sugar on these little bread pieces. Now the final product. Yay. So simple. Also, the trick is to keep the eggs runny so that when you, at least the way that I like it, so that when you cut into it, hopefully I did it right. Yep. Perfect. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? I love you. Alrighty, let's put these into a vase. Actually, I'm gonna probably do two vases. I'm gonna look for the link for these. I think I got them on Amazon. No, I didn't. I need to figure out where I got them. It might've been H&M, honestly. I feel like it might've been H&M. I'm gonna try to find a link for these because anytime I post them, I get so many questions and they're my favorite vase. So, let's see. They look so good. There's just something about having fresh flowers at home. It makes me so happy. I look at them and I just, I just love. I think I'm gonna do these over here. A little coffee table brightness. And then I have to clean this up, but these will go by the sink. Okay, made it back upstairs to the office. I have a little bit more computer work to do. I feel like the beginnings of my vlogs are so boring when I show you guys like my actual day because it consists of anywhere from four to 10 hours of computer work depending on what I'm doing. But I think I only have about 30 to 45 minutes left. So I'm gonna knock that out and then we're gonna go outside and read a little bit of this book. I started reading it in Cabo. I read like a hundred pages last night. I was up to like 1 a.m. Just couldn't put it down. And I'm about a little more than halfway now. It's a super freaking nice day outside. 
And uh, yeah, we're just gonna spend a little bit of time reading and then we're gonna go get ready for the gym, finish out the rest of the day. So let's knock out some work so I can get to my book. finished up work for the morning. We have a little bit to do after we get back from the gym, but we're gonna put a pause on it because it's getting a little late and I wanna read my book. So coming out to the rooftop, I don't really think I've shown you guys the house or done a house tour or anything like that. So maybe we'll include that in one of the videos to come after I clean a good bit of it because your girl's messy if you haven't picked up on that by now. But this is our little rooftop. And then it wraps around, we have turf. And then I have this little hammock, which I have not used in a while. That's why it's upside down. And then the mountain views, which right now are stunning. And shockingly, Denver is super nice this week. We got three feet of snow last week, but Brian and I were in Cabo, so we missed it, luckily, and uh, came back to some really nice weather. I think it's supposed to snow a little bit next week, but for the most part, it's like 65 and sunny. So why not sit outside and read a book? I'm actually so excited. Always knows I'm out here, has to join. Wanna lay in the sun? Yeah. <laughs> You're just the happiest boy. I love you. Oh my gosh, also this tree has so many squirrels, so he just sits here and watches them. You see the squirrels? downstairs to start getting ready for the gym but first a quick little intermission to thank bear mattress for sponsoring today's video obviously sleep is a big priority and my mattress my current mattress is slacking in numerous different ways when brad and i moved in together he made me add this like pretty thick mattress pad on top of it because the mattress is just not comfortable and now the mattress pad slides around all night and we have to fix it every morning it's just not not a vibe. So we got a new mattress from Bear Mattress. They do a sleep quiz because obviously everyone's a different sleeper. So I took the quiz. I prefer a softer mattress. I sleep on my side and my back and I have a partner while sleeping. So after finishing the quiz, they matched me with the Elite Hybrid Mattress, which is 14 inches thick and has three different kinds of foam in it. So I'm really excited to have a very comfortable mattress wake up with no aches and just be comfortable all night and also it has cooling technology so i've talked a little bit about this in my instagram stories but brian's a pretty sweaty sleeper and i dabble occasionally it's not every night but i have some nights where i'm pretty sweaty so anyways just a big upgrade that i'm excited for and think is gonna improve our life and our sleep massively and i'll keep you guys updated I did film a video of brian and i switching out our current mattress to the new bear mattress earlier just to show you guys what it looks like and also to show you guys the shipping process there's free shipping in the u.s it ships right to your door but yeah this is what it looks like Hopefully that video gives you an idea for the process of getting the mattress and how easy it is to set up. A couple other things to note, it's fiberglass free and Green Guard Gold certified. So basically means you're free from any toxins. They also offer a 120 night free trial. So you can make sure you love the mattress before committing to an investment. And when you're making the initial investment, there's payment plans and financing options because obviously it is an investment, but I will keep you guys updated with how I'm liking it. And then also running a bunch of March sales, head over to bearmattress.com slash Aaron and use code Aaron to save 40% on a new mattress, which is higher than any of the other promotions that they have on their site right now. And let's get ready for the gym. Let's see what we wanna do for a fit. I think I might do brown today. Align shorts, under train, sports bra. This has been the attire lately. And for a t-shirt, I think I'm gonna do this. Got the fit. I think I'm just gonna wear these same shoes because I don't feel like changing them. And I think it will look fine. Yay. Also, everything just looks better when you're tanner. And I have not been this tan since last summer after coming back from Cabo, so I feel good. Cool. I can link this out for the description. I'm pretty sure both these colors are sold out, but like I said, Wonder Train, Align Shorts, and then this I got for like $5 in Estes Park. Travel t-shirts are the best. All right, time to eat some food. 
All right, to be honest, I feel very lazy and I don't feel like cooking anything. If it were another time, I'd probably DoorDash food right now because I need to have like a meal before the gym, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna make food at home and it's gonna be very boring and very lazy. So I'm gonna make a bag of noodles. We'll probably just add cheese and butter to them just because I'm just going to the gym. I'm also not super hungry right now. So I'm not gonna force myself to eat a ton. 300 calories for the bag. So I think I'm just gonna make this. And then tonight, I know that I want walk, and I think I'm going to do a shrimp quesadilla. Anyways. I'm also going to have this watermelon smoothie, just so I can get in some sort of fruit and nutrients, and also extra carbs for the gym. Also, something about me, I kind of am a bland person. Like, I like bread and butter, noodles and butter. I'm a child, like I still eat like I'm eight years old and I'm waiting to grow up. I've heard your palate resets every seven years, so we've gotta be close at this point. But I feel like I don't post a lot of my meals and a lot of my food because I'm nervous about getting judgment and just, like I posted a grocery haul on my Instagram story about things that I actually eat, things that I enjoy. I'm not gonna come on and like show you guys a bunch of random shit. So I come on and I post like my actual grocery haul and my DMs are just like, I can't believe you eat this. I can't believe you have that. That's so processed. That's so bad for you. That has red 40. Like just so much commentary about what I eat. And so I feel like that's kind of why I refrain from sharing stuff that, and also I don't like vegetables. Broccoli is the only vegetable that I like. I don't like a lot of sauces or a lot of spices or a lot of flavor, which is like embarrassing. Like I'm not proud of that, but it's just how I am. So. Like I said, I'm beginning to grow up, but until then, if you guys want me to share more of my food, it's gonna be fairly bland meals, so. I feel like I'm going out of my way to justify eating a bag of noodles, but whatever. I usually do grass-fed butter. I think it's Kerrygold brand, but apparently we're out. And I don't think this is, uns this is literally unsalted butter. Yum. I don't know why I'm mixing this with a knife. All right, cheese. If I was gluten-free or dairy-free, I would genuinely be so screwed. I am very, very grateful that I do not have food allergies. Parmesan, yay. Alrighty, I'm about to smash this and then we're gonna make some pre-workout and then I think we're gonna head to the gym. It's honestly far. Mm -hmm. Honey. Alrighty, I'm gonna finish this and then Bucked Up is actually launching a new flavor per workout. I think it's tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. I have to look. It's their anime edition. It's like Yuzu Plum, and I think there's a Yuzu Peach. But um, I'm very interested to see how I like them. So I think we're gonna try them together today. Okay, this is the new line from Bucked Up, it's the anime line. They have this flavor, which is the Ninja Nectar flavor, Asian plum and Asian pear. Sounds very interesting. And then they also have Yuzu peach, which is Yuzu fruit and peach. So I'm very interested. I don't really smell anything. Purple. I'm a little skeptical, I'm not gonna lie. I like every single flavor of Bucked Up. I've tried all of them, except for one. It's called Make It Rain and it has plum in it. And I just don't like it. That's literally the only flavor of anything that they've made that I don't like. And this has plum in it, so. But it also has pear in it and I love pear. Oh, it actually smells really good. What do you wanna come try It's actually really good. We work out so harsh after you have an it's not. Why'd you laugh at me? I like it. It's a little sour. Your mouth is I haven't had pre workout in so long, my mouth is healthy. As always, you can use code ETKFIT to save 20% off everything on the website, which is a super good deal. 
but yeah, pretty solid. And also the marketing is pretty sick. Alrighty, we need to get to the gym. It's literally so late. It is 4.54. That's crazy for us. We've been going to the gym basically anytime between 12 and noon. I don't really know why. That's just kind of been our thing. And I feel like we're doing a little switch up. Oh, traffic. You just said we've been going to the gym anytime between 12 and noon. <laughs> I've been like doing, staring at a screen all day and then vlogging. I feel like I have literally like two brain cells. Okay, anyways, we're gonna head to the gym. It's almost five o'clock. Our drive to the gym is gonna be like 45 minutes because we waited until the worst time and we have to drive up I-25. If you know, you know. And we got a push day. So we're gonna switch over to the big camera and get a good pump. That's it. Oh, that's good. Oh, cool. Boy, you want to go to a gym? Yeah, it's really I was joking and being dramatic when I said it was going to be a 45 minute drive to the gym, and I jinxed it because it's legit 44 minutes. It's criminal. Horrible. Should have left it any other time. later we made it the soul the dog you ready to get out of the car time to train all right you guys know the deal we're gonna switch over to the big camera when we get in the gym i'll run through the workout do a little warm-up and get to it let's do it this is what happens when i come to the gym i've been here for like 25 minutes and i'm done nothing nothing i just sit up here and avoid and talk to people we're gonna leave at like nine o'clock. Okay, we've been here for a long time, but it's finally time to start training. Also, while I was gone in Cabo, the ceiling, well, we got like three feet of snow in Denver and the ceiling here started to leak. The worst that it has in the last year. I've been fighting to get a new roof from the landlord literally since I bought the gym last year and we haven't gotten one yet. And it leaks so bad when we get snow. So if we are filming today and you see a bunch of trash cans around, please disregard. Also on that same note, we had some lights go out while I was gone. So I'm also gonna be fixing that this week and please disregard, it just does not look very good. But uh, anyway, Anyways, as for the workout, we're hitting a push day today from my second challenge of the year. I'm doing them every eight weeks. You can still buy the program. You just can't join the actual challenge to win the $3,500 in cash prizes, but we will have another one in May. I think the beginning of May, but the workout today is starting off with barbell overhead press, which I'll probably do on the biking press machine. And then a super set of partial lateral raises, heavy with lighter full lateral raises. Then we'll be doing dumbbell tricep overhead extension, dumbbell shoulder press, a super set of cable front raise and cable tricep overhead extension and finishing off with a pec tech machine. I also had intentions of doing a little bit of cardio today just because I didn't do cardio the entire time I was in Cabo and I haven't done it since I've been back. And I'm just kind of craving a little bit of movement. I'm still holding on to a little bit of water weight, but I was talking for like almost an hour. So we might run out of time just because Brian and I drove together and I'm not trying to keep them here until like 9 p.m. But it's only 6.30. So see how quickly we can get this done. And I have a feeling the pump's gonna be solid. So do a little warm up and get into it. The rep count here is four sets total. We're doing 10, eight, six, and then 15 reps. So climbing up until we get to the six reps and then doing a back off set. I also probably won't film every single set of this workout just so it's not like a 40 minute workout video. But if you guys want me to do like a really long workout video, maybe I can do like just a full gym vlog. So let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna do some warm up sets here and then get into the first set.
right, first working set, we've got 10 reps, so just gonna do 25s. This should hopefully be easy, now that I'm not in the middle of this intense cut. But let's see. Perfect. Pretty easy. Definitely gonna go for eight. Alrighty, eight reps here. A little harder. All right, last set. I'm gonna go pretty heavy. I don't know if I'm gonna get the full six reps, but I'm gonna load 50 pounds per side and see where we're at with strength. Are you saving these? All right. Let's see if I can do it. Oh gosh. Dear God. That was fucking hard. Alrighty, I'm gonna do a back off set off camera just cause I feel like I filmed so many reps of this. And then we're gonna move on to the lateral raise superset. Alrighty, we're doing a superset of 10 heavy partial lateral raises into 10 full range lateral raises, obviously lighter. So I'm doing 35s for the heavy ones and then probably 10s for the lighter ones. When you're doing the partials, the goal is to keep it very slow and controlled. It doesn't look like you're doing much, but you should feel, like I said, very slow and controlled through that movement. Ugh. Right into full range. My fucking god. Sheesh. Not too bad. Two more sets of this. I'll probably stick with this weight because <sighs> round two. It's honestly one of my favorite supersets. Also pump. I'll take it. I might have to go down. Oh my goodness. It's hard. Money. I have one more. I like what I said I wasn't gonna film all my sets and now I've filmed basically all my sets. But last set here, gonna be the best one. Oh.
We did it. Moving on to triceps. Give our shoulders a little break before we do dumbbells for the press. Alrighty. Second set, sticking with the same weight. All right, I'm gonna do the last one off camera. Again, just because I feel so redundant. And then we're gonna move on to dumbbell shoulder press. All righty, moving on. We are doing a super set of cable front raises with cable tricep overhead extension, 10 reps of each. Also, sorry for the very far away angle. The gym is quite busy right now. And I'm trying not to be in the way. Okay, that's kind of me. count. Okay, I think that was tough. It's also heavier than I remember it. And then switching this out super fast. Probably should have had that planned out because supersets are not supposed to have any rest. Oh my gosh. I think I'm tapped out. Goodness gracious. Ha. Ah, I'm getting hungry. All right, we've got two more, two more rounds of that and then pec tech and we're out of here. I'm probably only gonna film one more round. right into tricep extensions. My arms are so shaky. Alrighty, one more set of this. I'm gonna do it off camera and then we got pec tech and we're out of here. I am fucking hungry. I also don't think we have time for cardio because it's past eight o'clock. I need to stop walking in and talking to people for like 40 minutes. We did it. We made it to the end of the workout. We just have pec tech left. 10 reps, three sets and we're out of here. Still kind of short. Little light. All right, two more sets. I'm gonna do my next one off camera and then we're gonna film the third and final set. Get out of here. Okay, I'm declining rapidly. I need to eat so bad, but last and final set.
That's a wrap. Look at this. Get out of here and get some food and finish the day. All right, we did it. Have a good workout. Yeah, it was yeah. Gucci. I actually had a really good workout. Yesterday was the first day back after Cabo and I had a glute day and I was so unfocused. I just had a really, really bad workout. I only did like five sets of what I was supposed to do. It's also distracting coming in here because I just want to talk to everyone forever. And then I get distracted in between sets. And before I know it, it's been like 20 minutes that's passed. So anyways, proud of myself for getting in a full workout today and vlogging and also still finding time to talk to people. I just did not do cardio, which is fine. Gonna head home now and make some food. I'm not sure if I have all the motivation to make walk and a shrimp quesadilla, but we'll see you when we get home and chill out for the rest of the night. It's been a good day. I'm literally pulling out of the gym parking lot and realizing that I never did any of my dumbbell shoulder press sets. I like completely cut that out of the workout. It's because I was sharing a bench with Jake and he set it up and then I set up my camera and then Brittany walked in and I literally didn't do any of my sets. So I guess we didn't do the whole workout, but whatever. Okay, change of plans. I know that I said I have a goal of not going out when it's convenient and cooking at home, but I'm gonna break my rule tonight and that's awful. But I also think it's okay because at least I'm being aware of it. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna make excuses. It really doesn't fucking matter. I'm gonna go to Kane's. Brian's grabbing Cabo right now. They're literally right next to each other. So whenever we don't know what to eat, he goes to Cabo, I go to Kane's. I also just guesstimated and threw in my fitness pal what I ate today because I feel like I really haven't eaten that much and I haven't. I am pretty under in food. So I also plugged in what I was gonna get from Canes and it fits to essentially what I would wanna track if I was tracking. So all of this to say, we're gonna get Canes tonight and I'm not gonna make guacamole. I am gonna make guacamole tomorrow and I'm really excited. Shrimp quesadilla and guacamole will be happening. I will cook all my meals at home for the rest of the week. I'm doing a little birthday party on Friday. So I'm excited for that. We're having some people over and then all meeting out downtown. And yeah, I'm just gonna have a goal from now until Friday. No more eating out, no more ordering food, which I haven't done all week since being back from Cabo, which is already a win. But tonight I'm gonna go to Kane's. That way I'm not gonna be up until like midnight because if I have to go home, cook, clean the kitchen, it's literally nine o'clock right now. So it's just gonna be a late night. Anyways, like I said, I was gonna sit here and justify why I'm gonna go to Kane's. I also am very, very, very excited to finish my book. And The Bachelor just came out last night, which I have been watching The Bachelor this season. Maria, I love her. I'm sure everybody does. And Joey, I just feel like it's been a good season and I kind of like having trash TV to watch. I watched Love Island, or not Love Island, I watched Love is Blind, but I need to watch The Bachelor, and I think tonight I'm gonna read my book instead just because I really wanna finish it. I'm like rambling at this point. I feel like I am delirious, and I'm wasting time until Brian gets back in the car and I can go get some chicken. But um, yeah, we'll go through the drive-thru and we will get back home. <laughs> Hope I didn't miss that. Hi, how are you? Fantastic. How are you? I'm good. Can I do uh, a Kenyak combo, please? Of course. What did you want to drink with that? Um, I'll do a no drink. Yeah, no drink on that. Anything else for you? No, that's it. Perfect. That'll be 1716, that second window for you. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you so much. I, I missed it on the camera, but we pulled up and they're like, chicken, chicken, chicken. What combo are you picking? It's my favorite. All right, I cannot do this during the drive through. I'll see you in a second. I knew he'd be looking. I have the Cane's order down because he gets a full chicken strip every time we come, which is why he's looking like that in the trunk. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll see you guys at home. I'm actually so excited right now. This is the perfect way to end the night. Tomorrow will definitely be a day of healthier eating. I'm gonna need some more fruit and vegetables for sure and cooking all my meals at home, but Cane's for tonight. Also, this is literally the best diet soda bar none. I'm not a big fan of diet soda, so I really just don't drink soda. Sometimes I have a Sprite, like full calorie Sprite, just because I like the taste of it and it's good. I would say like once or twice a month, but I'm not a big diet soda person. I don't like Diet Coke. I don't like regular Coke. Like I just don't like the Coke taste, but I love freaking root beer. And this tastes like actual bark root beer. It's not sugar, -free. like it doesn't taste sugar-free. You can't really taste the dietness of it, if that makes sense. This is literally the only diet soda that I'll drink and it actually tastes good, so. And I'm so excited. I have, I'm definitely gonna finish this tonight. We have that much left. This is also the second Freedom McFadden book that I've read. And it's the second time that I've been like halfway through the book. Like, why am I even reading this? I pretty much know what's gonna happen. And then I'm like, what the fuck? So, highly recommend her. 
when I finish this, I'm gonna read this one. And then I also have The Housemaid, the first one. I found out it was a series, so I need to order the second one just because I like to have it available when I finish the first one. So I'm just gonna be here in my little cocoon while I finish this book and eat some dinner. I'm gonna go downstairs and shower. It's getting so late and then head to bed. That's pretty much all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like this style of vlog. I feel like it's a little bit more casual. Eh, I feel like all my vlogs are kind of casual, but I don't know. I just feel a new found excitement to be back on YouTube and to pick up the vlogging camera and take you guys along with me, my life, my workouts, my days. All the things. So, if you guys have anything specific, you know the deal, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are watching this and you aren't already subscribed. Like this video, all the things. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. See ya.